Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to handle user registration and login using CSV file in Python. First, I'm going to import CSV module. Import CSV. And now I'm going to design the function for registering users. I will name it uh, register. This will be def register. And in our function, I'm going to open a CSV file. This will be the file where we are going to store our data. This will be over here with open and file name is users.csv. open in a pen mode and new line is set to empty as F Now we are going to create a writer object with that file that will allow us to append additional data. So I'm going to use CSV, CSV dot writer method and pass in the file object and delimiter is set to comma and here we are going to create our and save into writer And now we will prompt the user to enter email and password. So we are going to use a input function and get the email of the user input. Here we are going to prompt the user and we will write, please enter email and now we are going to ask for password password input please enter the password Enter your password. Here. We are going to ask the user to enter the password twice. So this will be our second check. Password two and use the input function. Please retype password. And now we are going to check that both password enter are the same and either add the user with the writer object 
we are going to create or we let the user know that uh, that something went wrong. So first we are going to check the password. Password, if those both password matches, password equals to password two. Then we are going to use our writer object that we created to write a row. And we are going to pass in email and password. And we are going to print some message after writing it to CSV file that registration is successful. Print registration is successful. Else we are going to print some error message. Please try again. Please try again. Our registration function is complete. Now we are going to add our user login function. This function will ask uh, user for information and return true to login or false if incorrect info. So in this function, we will ask the user for login information, email and password. We are then going to open the file where the user information was stored in a read-only mode. So let's define our function login. So this will be define our function login. And now prompt the user to enter email. And save that email. Input. Please enter email like the way. And now as for password. Password and use our input function. Please enter your password. And now we are going to open users.csv file in read-only mode. Here we are going to use read open. Users.csv mode. Read S F and we are going to create our reader object reader by calling CSV's reader method pass in F and the limiter is a comma. We will loop through the data row by row. 
each row we will read is in the form of a list with two items the first item will always be the email and the second will be the password so we are going to use for row in reader if row here we are going to check the uh, data uh, with the user enter email and password so we are checking the row information against a temporary list filled with the information that the user inputs this would be over here a list uh, email and password entered by the user and we are going to print some message you are logged in and we need to return a true return true else we are going to print a something is wrong so we're just going to print uh, please try again so let's go on print please try again Then we are going to return false. Return false. Now we are going to call our function uh, register first and then log in. So this would be register. and then our login login this way we can test both functions Oh, we need to fix the indentation over here. This So the else and this one is a writer R is missing over here and also here writer Now after we run our program, we need to enter the email. This will be mike at mike.com. Just a random email. And password will be mike123. And again, mike123. And we get the message, 
registration is successful. So now we need to log in. So for that, we need to enter our email. And our email is mike at mike.com. And hit enter. And now need to enter password, mike123. And we get the message, you are logged in. So everything went well. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, Assim Code. Keep supporting me and thank you for watching.